welcome, welcome, welcome to episode number 51 of the Uplink Podcast. Uh, your usual, semi-usual co-host, uh, Jack. I'm back. Jack, welcome you're back. back. Welcome back. Thank Ashley, you. Nick, Maniac, Kirshner. Um, and I'm pointing at him with, uh, with a Thank gift you, that I received right. from uh, the X-Halo team from Optic. My boys, my, my little brothers, uh, put me down as, uh, as a person to receive, you know, the fifth person to receive the ring, which is... To me, very heartfelt. So, uh, lethal, frosty, snake bite, royal two, royal one. Thank you so much for the honor. Uh, I love you guys. I miss you guys. Thank you so much. I paid a bunch of Halo Pros 1600 Microsoft points to be on their friends list back in 2010. Can you, can you remember who they were? Uh, Wait, who paid Ashley? You paid? Oh, Hitch. Hitch paid Davis Ashley. Paid what? Me, and what? I, and then he changed, he <laughs> How changed, don't I know this? He changed his gamer tag, and I didn't know it was him, so I deleted him like a month later, and he was sad. So Hitch paid to be on her process. Yeah. The wow. number one like, that I remember, he was pretty into it. The number one that I remember was paying APG because APG wow. never removed me. Damn. And I was like, damn, he's, he's a man of his word for that. He's a real one. Yeah. I mean, did you ever do that, Nick? Did you like I hustle took, the I, friends list? Uh, There's only 100 slots, so yeah. it's worth something. Uh, I would only do like Microsoft points. every Like if I wanted Microsoft points, yeah. I would yeah. add a jack every now and then. I'm not even mad. This is true. <laughs> I had the sickest avatar, the coolest gamer picks. Thanks, Hitch. And, and you know what? Wow. The, the craziest thing there is that a lot of people like talk smack to these like people, but these are the people that are most passionate about you know the, the gaming community and the culture within the gaming community. That they end up being someone like Jack, right? A, a one of the more popular streamers right now. If you don't mind me kissing your ass a little bit, nice. uh, and and you're killing it, mind you know. By the, the way, are down, but you know. Yeah. Right. I mean, so, what is it? What's, what's the spiel that you give? Uh, the, my Twitch Prime spiel. Yeah, because yeah. I always tweet at you what Twitch something. Yeah. No. So, so the reason why I've really dove into this now is because Twitch Prime sent me a pair of socks, a shirt, to further promote the Fortnite pack when it came out. Yeah. Two months ago, and it get it on it. It was like, here are the exclusive benefits that gamers get with Twitch Prime. So oh. I literally have that card like on my desk at all times and I basically just memorize it. Exclusive chat upgrades, free in-game loot every month. Uh, <laughs> uh, like other uh, uh, ad free viewing on Twitch and a free chat uh, a free subscription so every 30 days. One of your favorite streamers. Twitch at Amazon.com slash prime. So it's literally sitting there at all times. So I just know like in the back of my head. Plug it. Got the cue card. That's good. No, because I, th I think uh, you know how when shows go on they become like certain things in a show become part of the show oh yeah like whether it's a lamp or a camera or something like it becomes like the hex six became part of my blog because I, so like the hex six the hex six yeah. so it became a thing so i think in your case the that spiel became like one of your oh it's, it's an emote now on my stream yeah. It's, yeah. it's everything i Here's, feel like jack changed it for like all streamers almost yeah. because i feel like before jack i never heard people like like it was known but no it wasn't like uh Pushed. Yeah. I, I heard ninja it wasn't like acceptedly pushed. Oh, yeah. I guess a lot of people do it, but I'm someone that it, I, I I embrace. Like for example, if I know that a, a a content creator of mine that I watch for free, right, a YouTuber, does an ad piece, yeah, for one, for the most part, I'm cons I think I don't know how you guys feel that they are actually endorsing the product. Like yeah. I'm not going to do something that I just have no faith. Of course, in, right? yeah. And then two, I know it's helping them. Yeah. If they give me free content to watch, yeah. and I know it's helping them, and great. So I, to be honest, I've never one shied away from people doing those sponsor deals. I'll watch them and be like, "Oh, that's cool." But then two, on the, on the other side, me as a content creator myself, if I know that this this sponsor, this affiliate code is helping me, then I'll, I will promote it and sell it out a little bit because it is helping me, and I'm reinvesting into the stream and I'm, that, that stuff. I, I don't feel any remorse. Yeah. No, I don't think you should. I think like it's. I think. People that watch you, especially regularly, like want to support you. And if there's a free way to do it, like people already worth paying to subscribe. And now that there's like a free way to do it, it just spreads the wealth for like all streamers pretty much. I thought it was crazy that Ninja said, he said the day his like streaming life was changed was when he like literally sat down with his, not sat down with his chat, but he said to his chat, like, if you guys don't, support me like i can't continue doing this like all day every day yep. and playing and i was like damn like that's when it all he said that's what it like all turned around yeah. for him when he like told his stream like you know i guess he had like a shit ton of viewers but yeah. no one was like really supporting the yeah. channel yeah, yeah. Free entertainment. i actually got into an, uh, a little bit of an argument with somebody um on uh, i streamed for about three hours and and somebody went in there and then called somebody else a sellout and it wasn't me 
first time ever. Um, and then I, I, I sat there and I'm like, I'm like, dude, you, you can't, you can't, you know, the, these creators that get paid, these video game creators that create content, and have been creating content, that vilifying that they make money off of something that they love doing just because you don't understand it is like super, super uncool, super, super uncool. Because if, and, and I have, I worked, I worked 18 years in, in corporate, well, it, it just worked in regular jobs and in corporate America. And I never felt more like I, I was doing anything. I didn't go there loving my job. I went there clearly, like only for a paycheck, yeah. so I can pay my bills. You know, the only <clears throat> thing. So if, if there was ever any case to 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 call somebody, uh, you know, somebody who's only doing it for the money, look within yourself and tell me that if you're going to your job and you love it, you're then. But if you're doing it for a paycheck, you yourself are guilty of doing the same thing that you're accusing others of doing yeah and and i think that that's like one of the i, I think this only happens with creators it doesn't even happen with esports athletes right because you see league of legends players with like massive 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 salaries and nobody you know that gets out and it's public that gets out and nobody talks shit to them. nobody yeah. says anything but when somebody like uh let's say uh youtuber x you know accidentally shows his his uh his analytics and they see that that one month he made uh, twenty thousand dollars immediately. It's like, wow! You're only doing it for the money. You're only doing it for the money. Like, in part, sure, because that's my job. Yeah. I literally have to get paid to pay other stuff. Like, as an entertainer, and if you look at movie stars and everybody, like they get paid millions and millions of dollars to do just one movie because it's it entertains you know the millions and the masses. So every single time somebody like tries to come at a creator, like I've I've always like tried to step in and and try to make the argument that like you can't hate. On, on the fact that somebody is, you know, doing one something they love but getting paid for it, it's like it's it's like, and, and the fact that they're being responsible with that is like super super massive for me, yeah. because it is. I think uh, I think a lot of creators too, like they kind of come from like humble beginnings, I guess. Like, I don't know, maybe just like me specifically, but I remember like starting my setup was horrible. I know we're gonna like branch into setups eventually, but like. My setup was so trash, and now, like, I have, like, the dream setup I always wanted. And I have people comment, like, oh, it must be nice to have three monitors. Dude. And I'm uh, like, uh, uh, it is, but, like, you don't know the five years before I had yeah. Hold on. Monitors. If you use the words must be nice, like, you're, you're a loser and need to change your way of thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. All right. The jealousy and envy is, like, not a great look. They split Maple Story on my old laptop. What's Maple Story? What is that? A little 2D platformer MMO game. I think I played that with my... X, oh, like it was literally 2000. Like no, it was my ex. Oh. Like, like literally seven. I was like thir 14. Yeah, like eight years ago I played. And I was literally just like that was my little laptop I played on. Then I played StarCraft on that, and then I was like, wow, a monitor would be good. And that's when I was first getting to PC gaming and stuff. Yeah. And everything changed when I worked and mowed five lawns a week and babysat and saved up money to then buy my PC in 2011. And when I got my first PC, I was like, this is, this is, this is how I'll probably game for the most part of the rest yeah. of my life. And I haven't looked back since. Yeah. I always, I always, uh, I always fight back because for the first two years of my YouTube career, it was for word of mouth and for, you know, to, to be the best at something. There was no monetization <laughs> of YouTube. Like you could get sponsors, but nobody was thinking in, the, in those, I mean, I was. But nobody was thinking in those in those uh, in, in that realm where you can get sponsorship for the viewership that you get. Um, and in, in in the optic book plug, uh, I, I tell a story about how you know at one point you yourself couldn't monetize your own channel. So any video that you ran on your channel could not be monetized yeah. for two years straight. Okay, so for two years straight, that was the deal. It wasn't until Machinima came along that that um, that well, it was until the Game Station came came by that they were offering that sort of partnership to uh to creators they they came in and they say hey you know we love what you're doing over at machinima how about optic comes over to to the game station and we will allow you guys to monetize your own channels and that for me was like i'm like okay the optic nation channel was going to be the first one because everybody at that point could get paid you know finally so something that that, that, I, that, I, that I wanted so badly was happening now this is uh 2009 2010 so the game station offered Optic J a job, mm -hmm. you know, as part of as part of the deal for Optic coming back. Now, for me, uh, I I, I love the people at Machinima. Hutch was there, Cinerus was there, and I didn't care about the corporate side of that. You know, I, I cared about the creators that worked in, and I understood that. So I, I got on the phone with the people at Machinima, and then I said, I'm like, listen, this is what's happening. Uh, I if if you can give me a promise that I can upload to your channel as many videos as I want on a daily basis, I'll stick around. Otherwise, you're gonna have to monetize our personal channel so we can 
like truly start making a living off of this. And you have to give up the, uh, up the J job, right? So I kind of brokered this, this this one very specific deal that benefited every single YouTuber under the Machinima network. Just kind of quickly, like, yeah. when you say monetize our videos, like make money off this, like, yeah. can I ask, like, what were those figures like? Sure, it was a, it was a guaranteed, I believe, I'm, I'm, I'm cloudy on this, I believe it was like a, like a $2, guaranteed $2 CPM. Yeah. So every 1,000 views, you get $2, yeah. guaranteed. Um, and, and, and to touch a little bit you know, further on that, it's like, when people see my setup, they're like, like the same thing. They're like, must be nice, right? And what he said is exactly what I think because my first two years of doing YouTube, getting paid no money, right, with with my brand new born, Judith, the only one living off of savings alone, just literally doing it because I knew that it was going to somehow manifest itself into a, into a dream job. For two years, the top five kill camps of the week, top five kill camps of the week, you guys remember top five kill camps of the week? I do. I was... Thing. Yeah, so Top Five Kill of the Week was the most successful series I have personally ever made. I think it got throughout its lifetime it garnered close to 75 million views mm -hmm. on, on YouTube, okay? And all of those <coughs> were done on a rock, on a, uh, uh, what's the rock? The rock band A like. rock band microphone that you oh, have found. That's what I got. And, and if, I could, if I could find it, I would frame it and, and do anything because it, it, it changed my life. Um, Judith went to a garage sale and she knew that I needed a microphone because at that point I was using my phone and then it was just a pain in the ass. But she bought this $3 microphone. Rock, it, it was like scratched off. It was old. It was used. I wrapped the cord around the thing, right? And then USB it into, into, the, into, the, uh, into the computer. And then I would put it into a cup, right? And I would use that as the mic stand, right? So excuses as to why somebody else's setup must be nice, I don't feel bad for you. In fact, I, I'm glad that that's that you're going through because until you get out of your own mindset that says, I can't do something because of my shortcomings and in, in, in my parents' wealth or in my personal like uh, income, you're never ever gonna get through with it because for two years a rock a three dollar rock band mic created seventy five million views on a, on, a, on a thing a three dollar garage sale microphone on a cup is what did it for me. So anyway, what's your setup like now? Like it, what's changed the most in your opinion? I mean, the fact that I now have two. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you have your streaming, you know, I've got, streaming I can, and the gaming PC? When I, yeah, when I, well, I mean, when I went home to Jersey, for example, oh, I just got yeah, back yeah, this yeah. week, I literally only took home my webcam and my stream deck. Mm -hmm. And I could press live from there, yeah. live from here, and have the same quality level content nearly. That's awesome. Um, so that's like obviously one huge part is I have family being away. I mean, I want to be able to go back and still do my job no matter yeah. what. Like I could, I could say, if my mom was like, hey, can you come home next weekend for this? I could be like, yeah. And I knew I won't have to miss out on streaming. The only thing I need to get clear is be like, hey, optic videos, like the stuff we're going to do like this. Yeah. I'm not going to be available. Right. And once I get that clear, I said, I'm good. Yeah. Um, so that's, uh, I mean, that's a huge part for me. And the other thing now is, to be quite honest, we've gotten to a point where most things in gaming where I used to save up and that was my big thing is now it's kind of like, hey, send a tweet or a DM and yeah. Do a post with it, and you'll basically get anything you want, which is yeah. crazy. Yeah, that I think that that's one of the, the biggest changes, and uh, for me, you know, like the and it, and it's not you getting something for free. You're literally in a symbiotic relationship where where the people that create that product that give it to this person for advertising purposes, that's at times an even trade. Yeah. Right. So so you know don't like you have to understand the the entire ecosystem before you can even judge it uh, so negatively. And and I know that the majority. Don't think that way, but that's like that squeaky wheel that's always like so irrational. It must be nice. Yeah, like, so irrational that gets other people to say, wait, you know what? It must be nice, right? Like in, in, instead, if you put your efforts and say something positive, think about that chain reaction of positivity that you can have instead of having a negative one. I was, I was going to say, what, what was the thing in your setup that like when you guys got it, like changed everything? Like you mentioned the microphone in regards that you were able to... Yeah. To, to do the content creation. I think for me, it was like when I got the Avermedia, like Live Gamer HD, and I first streamed like Black Ops 2 in 2013 to two viewers on Twitch, and I was yeah. like, I love streaming. Nah. Like, yeah. That was my thing. You just knew? Yeah. I don't want to like say it because he's here, but like Hector hooked it up with, I think, a TV and a monitor and like a hapog or something like that. You were like, you saw one of my videos, you commented, like I was already in Optic, but like I really wasn't making a bunch of videos, but I started to so that, you know, I could see where it was trending. So I was like, I need to make videos. And you commented on one of my like super old sniper videos. You're like, yo, we need to get you an HD PPR because I had like literally like 360p quality video. The Dazzle. The Dazzle. It, was, it Dazzle. wasn't even Dazzle, Dazzle. 90. It was an easy cap. Ooh. It was like a dollar ooh. store. I've Dazzle. never even heard of yeah, that. That's it was how... horrible, bro. Yeah. My whole setup was horrible. I don't remember. And so, like, <laughs> the, well, you commented and you were like, yo, we'll send you this. And I was like, 
wow, that's crazy. So he sent me this stuff that basically HDified everything. I had a, like a actual monitor at a pog, and I was like, all right, bet. Go. I don't remember that. Well, but it doesn't surprise do. me that it was that kind. <laughs> no, even yeah. in those well, early days. You Fine. definitely like <laughs> you invest in people, which I think is important. And then maybe so that moment was definitely like, wow, okay, somebody else believes in what I want to do. And then obviously like going from streaming on a laptop to like actually having a PC with multiple monitors, yeah. super amazing feeling. Like, oh, yeah, it for sure. super sucks doing it the other way. So I'll always be proud of the fact that I have a really, really good eye for talent. And you know, sometimes that talent needs a little bit more work than other people, and sometimes this 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 talent become the Nate shots and the scumpies of the world. You know, um, and yes, I do invest in people more than anything because do. doing something by yourself is like super awesome and stuff. But it isn't until you have the opportunity to share with more people like the successes of of, of what you're doing that you really really like feel as though you're making a difference in something. Um, your stuff. Uh, my setups were always trash. I always play, <laughs> <laughs> like, literally until I moved from Maryland to Chicago and joined Optic, like, I'd never, I never streamed. Um, I do remember in Halo 2, I had a Dazzle 90. I think, I'm pretty sure that's what it was, a Dazzle 90. And I tried, like, recording clips, and but that was just, like, a waste of, not, I wouldn't say a waste of money, because it, like, got me, it got me looking into it. Uh, but I never had good enough internet to stream. Uh, my computer, I don't think, was ever like really good enough to even use the thing. Uh, but whenever I moved to Chicago and joined Optic, lived at the Optic house, I finally had internet that was good enough to stream. And I think Formal gave me, wow, did he? Is he, that how much no. streaming? No, he didn't give you career anything. started. Not even that. Bad. No, I'm pretty sure. Not even the Louis Vuitton. Bag. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Formal gave me his old Avermedia Live, like Black gamer, Capture? gamer HD That's or the one I had. something like that. Yeah, I think he gave me that, um, and I just used that and started my start streaming in H2A. I think I had to have like thirty to forty viewers H2A. every time. Yeah, Dang. I didn't start streaming until H2A, but yeah. I remember hearing like the dazzle reminded me so like on the old gb profiles i don't know if you remember but you could like oh, edit yes. it yeah. i will never forget like his profile like so when we would play matches on like we would be running like mw2 ladders we were like we reached like top 75 teams we were like so happy yeah um but like you click his profile and it who's was my, my friend christian okay. one of my best friends yeah and it'd be like smile my dazzle see Dude, my dazzle can see you and it was like a little edit of the too. dazzle and then, and then on my profile i had like the chopper gunner then like put in these dashes and then it was like the, the chopper gunner like logo yeah, animated yeah. then it was the uh or sorry the harrier then the chopper gunner then the nuke and then i had a then i had a it was like shh my a40s can hear you in your sleep or something like, <laughs> someone had, it, was like, oh, it was like look at how epic i am dude i have a40s because i remember that was like the first thing i bought was, yeah. was i saved up for the a a40s think, I'm, I'm trying to think what my first Headset that was that was uh those like not Sennheisers. your Sennheisers. You gotta be Sennheisers. Sen I had Sennheiser five five fives. Mine, my, my that, first that was ever was the uh, the the Turtle Beach X ones, and it helped me win so many one v ones on uh, NX Gamers one v one Vosniks on in Vosnik Germany. And I would turn it up. I remember I was playing on a fifty inch TV. You know, like <laughs> no, I, bro, yeah, like, no, yeah. there wasn't any though. That was, really? that was yeah, because mine was an L. Maybe you were just so noob, you didn't really notice. Yeah, it. yeah that's true. Input you had a right. you were like, this is twenty the mass response. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm I don't telling know. you right now, you go back, that thing has input lag. Yeah. yeah. So um, my setup. Uh, and I've always taken a picture of my setup. Always, always, always from the beginning. Uh, I think Grizz was. I first wish one. I did. Fuck. Dude, yeah, I've like. You can see my old one, my kind of glowed up one. My you you yeah. see it evolve in my videos and my pictures. Which I think yeah, really cool. because we you know Chris put out a picture of his gaming set or a video of his gaming setup, and I'm like, I'm like, holy crap, I'm gonna do that. I have a good and, and I remember like if you I think if you go back to look at it, uh, it's still up. Maybe I, I, I private a lot of videos, but I'm talking about like it's my first town townhouse I ever bought. My first house I ever bought. I was 26 years old. And I had like a like fifty inch TVs every like in every room, <laughs> but they were like the original ones, like yeah. one hundred and fifty. Thick, yeah, big screen the, them TVs. Them thick ones. Them thick ones. Them thick ones. Thick TVs. I think the thing that like I changed my gaming thing the most for uh, it in, in my life was probably I didn't have parents or anyone that gamed or an uncle, whatever, or a cousin that was like 
here's what you should do with gaming. Like, I feel like people that adapt young to playing yeah, right? PC I didn't stuff, know any, no one in yeah, my family right? really, like, They were like, what are you doing? That. <laughs> like, that, like, the kid that I've been doing, like, the Fortnite videos with Connor, like, he's 10, his uncle gave him a PC, and, like, that's why he's playing PC so early. I didn't have that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so cute. now, it's like... Little spo- must be nice, <laughs> Connor. <laughs> must be nice, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> the only <laughs> time it's acceptable awesome, to say that. 10-year-old <laughs> little... Awesome. But, like, for me, because I followed, like, Halo 2... And Does Connor like, know what you look like? Sorry. Yeah, he watches my streams and stuff now. He okay. had never seen Twitch before. Oh, it's so. He'd cute. seen YouTube. He lo- he like loved Ali A and stuff and yeah. uh, Muselk, whatever. Must. Oh, Musel- I know what you're talking about. M U S E L K. Um, but basically, he loved all their videos, and he was like, and then he saw Twitch for the first time and would read chat and stuff. I was like, don't read chat. Don't, um, don't read chat, chat Connor. Please, please uh, do not. Please, please don't read chat. <laughs> but uh. But basically, but what, what, what I'm getting at is, we, we basically we, we learned. I, I like learned how good the monitors were. I yeah. literally bought what the MLG circuit had. Same. Um, so but then, the the VH the Aces VH two six three or two eight whatever the hell the numbers were. The big thing for me was my friends and I all got on board with like, hey, if we're doing the switch to PC, we're all doing it together. Together, yeah. And like within one or two summers, like we had six of us with PCs. Or laptops that were strong enough to play, yeah. and and that was at like fourteen. Like we just adapted, and we're like, we're doing this, and what, we all what invested. What game were you guys playing? Starcraft Two was oh, okay. the number one one that it was. Well, first we we would play PC like, and, and Maple Story could run on a laptop, which we were fine, but Starcraft Two like moving into that like 2010 2011 era, we were like, if we want to really play this, we have to. And I'll never forget like being bronze in Starcraft Two and winning one out of my one out of fourteen games on average to start off. And then, like, just grinding out, really getting used to that. And, like, I was terrible at shooters on PC. Then then played CS for two summers in a row and got to global. And I was like, okay, now I can play whatever game and feel confident. Yeah, you had it like that on CS. Uh, I will say, when I hit global, it was when the ranks were, lo- were on the inflated side. Mm-hmm. If I had to be honest, I was probably, like, an LEM. LEM to Supreme, then my best Well, is. I am a silver at best, so good, good job. I'm <laughs> the best sniper. Is that is this CS? Opera. Have you, have you talk, played CS? I've played. I feel like you would be someone that. You I have a like clip it. out there. No, no, let's not. No, no I don't like it. I don't like it because it's S and D. I li- I not like better. it. I like the shooting aspect. I like. Yeah, I like the game Play? itself. Like the, I don't the like the, the yeah. I like the way it feels. I, I like the, yeah. the you know. Yeah. I just don't like the S and D. There is. There's moments in gaming that feel incredible, like winning a BR or whatever, but yeah. like clutching a scenario with like an AWP in CS, yeah. it, when you when you hit like a crazy clip, like 1v4, you plant the bomb, whatever, you know they're all rotating from B on dust 2, and you're like, here I go, you, you snap on one snap on the other, like, it yeah. is so fun. Yeah. That, that I've been getting is... better at Fortnite, and I was actually playing with uh, Pterodactyl the other day, yeah. and... Obviously, she's good at CS, and it kind of makes me want to try CS because oh, no, I, I feel like I'm getting better at Fortnite. So yeah. I'd probably like I'd probably be better than what I used to Dude, be I'm at CS. Th- I am thinking the same thing. Is like after watching, I'm gonna be play nasty. More more, yeah. I want to get back <laughs> into <laughs> CS again. But the reason we, I stopped was because I gambled all my CS skins away. Uh, Weren't you and Maven yeah, like, like this, terribly like addicted? Yeah, banana, Maven banana. What's, what's the name of your team? Banana. Uh, no, that was Puckett and Puckett, Mister X, and all them. They were like banana boys and would yeah. uh, go, they, they would go to. Uh, like in, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't really play with them too much because I was like, "Oh no, I want to go play like my rank." Yeah, they were they were just lower. Yeah. Um, and I had, I had, I, I had an alt I would play. On. No, I, I did. <laughs> I, did, I, did have, I did have a Smurf I would play on, but uh, then they instituted like you had to reach a certain level to then be able to play ranked. And I was like, "Okay, well now I'm not gonna go on that Smurf because it takes oh, so long to true. get to it." It takes like a couple of days um, or something to like. It took, sm- back, I don't know if it's changed, but it was way more than like, it was bad. How long it took to get to be able to play oh, ranked? Um, we need to get Sheila to Smurf us. To into, smurf with yeah, us. Yeah, like smurf with us. <laughs> smurf. I was like, smurf, smurf, smurf us. Smurf us. No, like, we're supposed to be blue? Like, <laughs> no, we definitely need to. we're going to be trash, but like, I don't I'll know. never play Counter Strike. Really? I have an addictive gonna, personality. It is addictive. That's got a rank system. It's got an you op. Would, you would, the op is literally, that's why Maven played. Uh, Maven would save, Maven would not buy until he get an op. That no what that <laughs> that's probably and what I'll be, be like. He would be, he would have a handle of vodka and would be this far into it. Oh my God. And would just be like this. <laughs> flicking and, and dust tube through the doors. That's I, all he would do. I can't even enjoy video games when I'm drunk, though. Like It's kind of hard. I don't like, play really when I'm drunk. I, 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 I don't I, play I've, well, I've never, so... Whoa. I, I played it, Call of Duty 2 drunk once. 
and that's and since then I've never played a video game drunk. I just can't do it. Please drink responsibly. Yeah. Yeah. Drink responsibly. Yeah. Only in, in I don't. I don't do it because I know that I, it's, I'm too competitive. It's hindering yeah. my performance. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Jack, just recently I saw a picture. Oh no, a, a, in Vegas, yeah. you, you tweeted a picture that you were at this club. And I don't know if you remember, but the first time that you and I ever hung out was in Burbank. Yeah. And we walked across the street from the hotel that we were staying at into a bar that had, like, ramps to get in. And I remember that you had just come on the scene or as, as a uh, as a that, but I remember, like, you and I were talking, and all of a sudden, you, like, a song came on, you turned around, ran to the dance floor where there was nothing but, like, 50 <laughs> to 60 oh, people. Oh, this is... And then UM, you were, like... This was UMG Cali. Okay. AW. Okay. And, uh, and yeah, the venue, we, we just went, it was in a hotel. There was nothing open because we were in, like, it was a UMG event, so yeah. literally they were finding the cheapest place to go to. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, they, we were in the bottom of, like, a, of, of not even a hilt, like, of the worst hotel you can imagine. Yeah. And there was, like, a, it was a dark bar with 50-plus-year-olds only. Yeah. And some, it was probably some Chris Brown song. No. Okay. Kesha. And let's see if you can run it, I'm run trying. it. I'm trying I can see Jack it. hopping I'm up to the man. Like, so. like, no, so. no, I can see Jack getting high. It was like it was like a like an old school maybe like pop song, but it could have been rock, soft rock, something. But he gets on the dance floor and he's like wailing his hands up in the air, and I'm like, that dude doesn't give a. Sh he's all about oh, good times. One thing is, uh, I I have never, I don't care what people think. I think like, that's, that's awesome. why I, I, I embrace the cringe part of yeah of you. Like people tune in and they and they cringe or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I joke about the never found love sort of stuff where people try to avoid that. Do I you, joke with that stuff all the time. Do you I, hate when people say cringe? I hate the word cringe because I think it's just been adapted by edgy twelve and yeah. twelve to sixteen year olds that are like. If you saw them in person, you would be like, "You wait, you embody what cringe means." Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, like, I feel like you are the embodiment of cringe. I feel like people that like call other people cringe, especially are like just it's afraid like to be themselves. Like I feel yeah. like anybody that's shamelessly themselves, like I I mess with heavily. So they'd be the people that would be like going to like remember old like middle school and high school dances, and then you'd have yeah. the people like sitting at the tables like. This that's, is whack. This is cringe. Yeah. That's, that's those are, there's yeah. a lot like, of the what people. Are we supposed to do here? This nice. happens twice yeah. a year. Yeah, I'm going to get up on the dance floor and have fun. I'm yeah. sorry? What? What did you say? I'm going to get up on the dance floor and have fun. Oh, have yeah. fun. The, the highlight of my whole life, by the way, was my senior prom. Leading into it, I was like, I want to be able to moonwalk at senior prom. Oh, hey. What the I hell? I want to be able to moonwalk. Did you? Did you and follow a YouTube tutorial? Basically, senior prom, well, yeah, basically. <laughs> but senior prom, it just so happened that. There was a whole dance floor, and people, we, we always got in the, I, I've always been one to get in the center of the dance, and I don't care how I look. I have two dances I do, and then I'm done with, yeah. it's just fun. I don't care what people yeah. think. Like I said. I'm like that, too. I exactly. have, like, four dances and I can do. And, and then your arsenal's done, and you're like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I need to be definitely <laughs> you, you lit end, before I get uh, You end it before it gets bad. Too bad. Too bad. And we get there, and And we get there, and there's the whole dance floor, but then they have these, like, two cubes that glow that they put them together that were large enough to be like the circle instead of being on the floor where no one could see, it was elevated where basically everyone could see. Oh, you went right up there, right? And I, and I, I get to this point and I just get up on these things. I'm doing my dance, and I'm not kidding when I say I hit the my best moonwalk I've ever done. I had the slippery <laughs> tongue shoes or whatever on. They're like slippery. Yeah. I hit this thing and I was like, "That's it. Life is only downhill from there." And life's gotten can worse. Can you still since. moonwalk? <laughs> Like, oh uh, yeah, I can. I can still definitely moonwalk I mean, uh, in the right with socks. Uh, yeah, socks. The right four. You're lucky you're wearing the boosts. Otherwise, we'd make you do that right now. That's the next. I optic can versus Optic versus optic, versus optic. By the way. No dance battle. Dance battle? No, <laughs> no I, I, I'm, a, I'm a slow dancer kind of guy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm into that that bump and grind. Jude would you know have to be there too, basically. Right, a little bump and grind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jude, Jude has to debut in that video. Yeah, don't, just don't, connected. Don't don't get me and Jude on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know, oh, we saying. put an age restriction on the video. Yeah, <laughs> man. Like you, Love in this when, club. When, when, when you're, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> before we move on from the setups, uh, what is your? Give me your two top, and I'm not talking about um, what are the two top best pieces of technology right now, in your opinion, for uh, for a streamer. Uh, and don't say, I mean, obviously sponsors, thank you, Turtle Beach for the best headsets. Thank you, Scoff, for the best controllers. I was like, Scoff, for example was like a legit game changer. So, you know, if, if, if we go back to 2011, 
if you were to ask me the same question, what's the, you know, the best piece of technology out there, I would have said I Scuff. Say, I would still say Scuff for yeah. game, console yeah. gamer. I, don't, I won't play without a Scuff. Yeah, no, me yeah. either. It's not even like... The, even when we had to play here for the Optic Plays yeah, and we had controllers that weren't Scuffs, we are like, so yeah. like, what do we do? Of all my affiliate stuff in regards to that, like my by far most used is, is my Scuff because it does hold, in my opinion, still the oh, most yeah. use. Like yeah. it, it is... And it is, it is a... Uh, like. It is it is a clear definition of what I don't know I'm gonna get sappy here and says what do you you know what 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 America is all about right like the dream to be able to to take something that's already been invented but then put something on top of that that really changes it to make it a completely different product yeah that is like the the American dream and so not in like a it's like hip hop you know yeah hip hop's the way you walk talk live dress act see smell shit fart and f word the RZA beats rhymes in life 1996. So I think exactly. the best thing to my setup That's is what I was gonna say the, too. The stream deck. <laughs> the stream deck. Oh yeah, the stream Ooh. deck is really deck good. Is what really is the stream deck? Because I feel I'm it, such a noob. You can streamer. program it to literally whatever you want. If you, if I asked you to ha do me a favor, yeah. and, and I'll buy you lunch or I'll cook you a, a barbecue dinner at the at the Hex residence. Whoa. Whoa. Would you a Mexican arrachera? I, I, I want to go. I mean, I've lived here now for two months and I never got an invite. And Nick, have you same, seen this pool? Same. I haven't. Yeah. You've been there. What I've the been heck? there a few times. Wait, what the a hell? A few times? So that's I why. Never been, but I've never anything. enjoyed it. <laughs> he never. No, I mean, like, okay, I've never gotten to enjoy his place. You get like, to look. Yeah, I get to oh, look. Yeah. To, like, I, no I touch. Like, I, just, I just don't like to be packed in one in one place. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd hate we to be packed just, in your So we tiny got 30 rooms. Uh, yeah. Jesus. Uh, tiny little so humble room. So Henry fills so that place the, up. Right? The stream deck? Yes. Oh, yeah, stream deck. Yeah, but what did you want? You, you brought to be like, I will buy you dinner. He wants bring us to, like, uh, to set, set, it set it up. Set, yeah, know, set mine up. Teach me how to set it up. It is the easiest thing to set up in the world. It's easy. You just link your Twitch. apply yourself. You link your Twitch. You link it to your OBS. I'm the worst. And you can literally, so it lets you, you can make, you can switch your scenes in OBS by one press of button. You can press one button and it'll tweet for you that you're live. So you don't. Just you don't go down the arrows like to no. like because no, I, I manually will I mouse clicked, click I like to a oh, window oh, capture yeah. or something. So literally, Shit. You know, so so someone subs my stream. I go, hey, step up some emote me in the chat. I click my emote button on there, my my one emote thing, and I have a, I have two emote folders because like now I've I've got that many. So I'm like, oh, I've got this in this folder. I've got this in this. Folder. I have to yeah. have like a some humble brag. Yeah, yeah, no, I love it. Get out of here. His um, humble emote so folder. I, I love stuff like that. I actually yeah. hate how many emotes I have now because it's I a lot. I. I, I I feel like they've just there's just a it's like Fortnite right. skins. Yeah, I have eight. No Fortnite, sorry, no no no. But, yeah, no, no but, Fortnite. But then I, I I click I click my sub hype emote and then it pops up my Twitch chat for me. And then yeah, everybody I else copies it. Do you can you can have it so it'll edit your Twitter name to say, uh, like live in your Twitter name. So whenever you're live, you click one button and if someone goes to your, any of your tweets, it'll say live and they. So know it changes it. your profile on your Twitter. Oh, it can do anything, literally anything you want. I need and, a and things back. not even with streaming. It can do things for. For other stuff, like you press one button, it loads up Chrome and goes to this and does that for you. Like I, I, text Jude, we're dancing. Is yeah, it? seriously, <laughs> yeah. it probably could. It probably. Could. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Hitch's <laughs> promotion of the Twitch Prime. Prime scriber. And then I'm gonna be like, uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, hit that one button, and then that little ad of him like doing that. Dude, Dude I, I go to the bathroom changed. so many times. I don't. Damn, I, don't I need camel. Stream Deck. To I, yeah, I need to do go that to the too. bathroom. Some like Twitch Prime, the what's Prime. That, what's that thing called? It's it's like a big Prime uh, Scribe, a uh, big uh, like mechanism with buttons. The tri the TriCaster. TriCaster, thank you. It's a mini TriCaster, essentially yeah. what it is. Um, I have yeah. So I, I if you want to, so I just gotta apply myself and it's easy Hector, to use. It, I mean, yeah. I'm th I'm 38 and I hate to say this and I hate to say this because damn, I, I, you can start using that excuse. It's damn. Damn. That's that why is. I hate it. That's why I hate it. When 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 I go into Discord. And for some reason, my mic's not being picked up. The the, the last thing I want to hear is Nate shot with, with, with his voice saying, "Fucking all the ass you know." <laughs> it, is, it is so annoying. And then when it happens with the Omen of Optic, I I have Diesel talking shit like, "I just can you? T I'm not old. Just tell me what to do." Yeah. Shit. Yeah. That's yeah. why I I hate when I tweet like, "Does anyone know how to do yeah. it?" And they're like, "Just use Google." And there there's literally times where I will use Google, yeah. but it's like. There's Instead no of me answer. searching for an answer, just tell me, yeah. and then I'll do it. Just give me the shortcut. Yeah, there's a shortcut to everything. Yeah. Give me the shortcut. Almost. Pineapple's <coughs> the uh, pineapple's the H1Z1 pro player for yeah. Fox. He's like su super smart with PC stuff, and has helped a ton of times. And uh, I'm trying to do the whole full-fledged two PC setup, 
and right now I still have this audio, what I can do with the headset issue that I'm trying to get figured out. But like, if I had a dollar for every time I've sent him a DM about a question, I could just, I could have flown him out and had him do it for me and then sent him <laughs> back home. That's how many times I've asked him stuff about it. Damn. I have everything I need. I have the full setup I want, every piece, but I just need to figure out the headset part and then I'm good. I finally found somebody to build PCs for me. My brother-in-law, who's, who's young, he's like Judith's youngest uh, sibling in that family. He built me the beastliest computer just recently. Um, but I've always had to like go like an hour away to Micro Center and then come back. And at one point it was Tiger Direct, but they went out of business. But now that I have like this, I, I, I think I'm gonna have him set up my my dual stream thing. Uh, like, like Can you send him my place? Yeah. I'll pay. Yeah. No, I, I, uh, to do what? Set it up. Well, he set built, up like right now stream. he's building Karma's computer. Dual streaming Today. is actually pretty easy. As I let, how? How is it easy? Well, the, the NDI. Yeah, the new but, NDI but, but stuff compared thing. to how I had to do it last What's year. What's But Nick, there is still... So NDI, basically, the way that it is now on OBS, you can just download a plugin, and if you have two PCs on the same network, the one PC can send that feed to the other one. Okay. Uh. So instead of you pressing stream and your processor have to process out the stream on your main gaming PC, it now... Reroutes. It just one basically, computer basically screen captures. Your... Yeah, so if I had to explain it, instead of using 40% of your CPU power to gather all the footage, run OBS, send it out itself, do all that, it now just gathers all the footage and has your OBS just idly open and uses 20% of the power, mm -hmm. and then the other PC picks up that feed and does the other 20% of pushing it out. Mm -hmm. So when I tried to stream off of this PC that I have now, it's my older one with like a 970 in it, when I did it once, it was like 100 FPS was max I could get. Now... When I have the NDI, I get like two, 180 to 200 at all times, but it it still isn't as flawless as it could be, and that's eating away at me. Is knowing yeah. that I, you know that too, right? With the NDI, <clears throat> yeah. it's not as bad, but I know that if I had two PC set up and I felt zero difference, that's my issue. If I click Escape out of OBS, I feel my game get more smooth and I play so much better. Uh -huh. Same. And the fact that that is still eating away at me. I, I, I've reached a point now where it's, I need the peace of mind that I have the best gaming experience possible. Is there anything in the world more annoying and more frustrating than when your computer is not doing what it's supposed to do even though you've already made every single step that Google has said, that YouTube has said, and that Twitter has said? Is there anything more annoying? No. Or when it will literally work today and then not tomorrow. work tomorrow. Like the exact same setting. Nothing and you're has like, changed. Okay. That, that literally happened to my computer. Just... It is it, the, it's all the time. The absolute worst. The absolute worst. Uh, but I am gonna have to agree with you in the, on the technology part. I think uh, the 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 Elgato, and I don't use it, but I I, I see its benefits. Um, I think free advertisement, I guess. But I, I think Elgato right now is like the 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 one company that's solely focusing on how to make streamers and YouTubers better because they even came out with that little easy the cam port. link yeah the cam link the green well, the screen I just bought two cam links for for a new setup that I'm installing today that the diesel just uh, the 4k 60 capture card yeah like do you screen. think you'll ever do the green screen uh, so the Maybe. reason why I haven't is because you guys I, don't do I, you? I interact I interact a lot with my background on my stream so I value me dancing around looking like an uh, idiot yeah, in my yeah. apartment yeah, yeah. I, I kind of like, do too. I really like, <laughs> I don't know, like green screens are cool, but I really like like the idea of like going to a stream and you like can see their background. Maybe it's unique. Yeah. I kind of like going to Ninja Stream, saying it's like messy, yeah. like, like basement. Who sleeps down there? If though. I did a single player games more, then I would do uh, it. Yeah. So true. I wanted to immerse in a single player game. Like like let's say I was thinking about streaming God of War. Yeah. If I were, were going to stream God of War, I would have made my camera smaller. There would have been no like crazy big sub overlays. Like yeah. if you watch. The, the number one streamer I can recommend for you is to go watch about if you want to get more to being a single player PC streamer and want to put a good product like that, go watch Co Carnage. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He is, every game he plays single player, he has a full graphics overhaul for it. Yeah. So when he goes and plays Same. God of War, his alerts are God of War, his everything oh, is sick. God of that's War themed. That's what Hitch Even should down be doing. His panels. And it is like, it fully immerses you in, I need to in do that. that. And, and yeah. that obviously, he's got a graphics team and whatever to help with it. But it is. The coolest thing. When he played Fallout, like when the new Fallout came out and you went like, you know, the Fallout like text boxes, like yeah. they were green. Yeah. Ashley, everything was like, it was That's so cool. That's sick, man. And, I've been uh, wanting to do that. I just like, I mean, we have like a piece. Why don't you just be like, yo, make me seven different Yeah, I'm still working stuff. with some trash overlay like Aaron made me in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but I could easily just like, I, fill out a I ask someone here just, yeah. hey, yeah. can I, I get over there? When I, when I hopped, when I, joined on board i literally i'm doing that I had, a, I had a meeting you know two weeks in advance it was like 
here's everything I need for my launch day. And we had it all. But 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 you are different than every other creator that has been. And I'm talking about from, from, from the beginning. True. You know, I'm talking from Predator all the way till like, the Jack. I've seen a lot. And he's like the most unique yeah. onboarding in, in, we've in, ever done. In terms of organization and, and like how perfect you want everything to be, like it's it's commendable if anything else. So Thank you. It, Starcraft taught me. Huh? Starcraft. Starcraft. Made me, made, like, Starcraft. Playing Starcraft made me think like five moves ahead at all times. <laughs> because literally, I was wondering where you were going with you that. Know, you know it, right? Yeah. It's like well, in Starcraft 1. We used to play and he used to carry me. Well, that was, that's how I first met. Well, Nick. I don't think we'd really think ahead. We'd just cannon rush. Well, when I play with you, for sure. Oh, yeah. uh, you were pretty rush. linear gameplay of like, so what do I do after I build my third building? And I'd be like, okay. Yeah. Well, we have to end the game by the seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. some, I, do, I, do that, I do that often, and this is like, this is another one of my, my, my tendencies that I do and what's allowed me, in my opinion, to get to where I am in life is that, one, I don't listen to music in, in the car. I listen to podcasts, whether it's, uh, it's, it's film, business, uh, social media, just like that but the other thing that i do is that when there's a big decision that i need to make i play chess not against a computer nonstop. like i'll sit there play i'll force myself to sit there for an hour to hour and a half playing chess because w the second that your brain gets and i know it's nerdy as hell but i know the second that your brain you know gets used to thinking ahead or or trying to predict the the outcomes like your brain literally does that across the entire like your, your entire being so i i completely understand that that's deep i would take like when I'm like trying to think about something really bad, I'll literally take like a 45 minute shower because I know in that moment, like I can't be distracted by technology. It is literally just me thinking. The only thing I have is my thoughts. I'm just like, I'm, I will literally just sit there and let like the water hit me in the back and I'll just think about yeah. everything that, yeah. every yeah. possible scenario that, that I need sense. to figure out. And then I'll like hop out of the shower, dry off and be like. Hydro meditation is what that's I'll be like, time to, time to bang. I like to drive. Like driving, like. Really calms one. me down, and I'm like, okay, like let's relax. Think Ash about is like, stuff. when I drive, I just close my just eyes. Close my and eyes. Just like... Press the gas. Ninety. <laughs> just kidding. In a school zone. <laughs> I've the got a lot of tickets. <laughs> I don't have a license, but. Yo, knock on wood. I haven't got a ticket in a long time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what's your best piece of technology? I I really like the headset. I think it's universal across all games. Um, I think that especially like when you were talking about like competitive gaming back in the day like COD 4 you could literally crank your headset and hear somebody who had dead silence on because the grass would move and you'd yep. be able to hear it um so yeah I'd, I'd say like the headset or probably like for streamers specifically maybe the stream deck as soon as I pimp mine out fully it's gonna be like I think it. I'm gonna set that up all today you I don't know it depends <laughs> I would say recently just because i've been playing fortnite i'm gonna have to go with the logitech logitech g502 yeah the mouse my problem i love it i like i like the mouse i whenever i had a razor and was playing maybe it was just because it was h1z1 but whenever i was using the razor mouse like i would be changing dpis like i was a head case but with this i feel like pretty never pretty ever changed the oil on my mouse or the dpi really yeah. The oil. What is the oil? Oh. I don't know. When somebody first said DPI to me, it's like, change your DPI. I mean, it like, made sense. My brain says, like, checking the, the oil. Like, Check the dipstick on the yeah. mask. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's like, I always say that. and it, it, I don't know why. Um, I, I can't, uh, on the F word, I can't, I haven't been able to do that because I'm still a noob with this. So me pressing a whole bunch of stuff and aiming at the same time yeah, is just almost impossible. I'm yeah. like having people, a hard time with it. Yeah, people are asking me like, yo, should I start playing on PC or should I suck on PC? You're going to have to give me a few months. And it's like, I don't even know if you should start. Yeah. Like if you you're should. playing on PS4 now and yeah, just stick to it. No, no, I, I disagree. I, if you have a PC and are playing Fortnite on PS4, stop. Start playing on PC. I know a couple people who have tried. Are you saying controller but they quit. on the PC or mouse no, and mouse and keyboard? I'm saying, dive in. I'm saying, I don't care how bad you suck at the start. Get used to using yeah. it. Yeah. How out. bad do you want it? If, I was so yeah. Do you it's way better. I will say it's way better. Well, I didn't really play on the PS4, but I've played. I've dabbled into it, but it sucks with a controller. It's way better it's with so a PC, but it takes. It's, it's gonna. It's, it's gonna suck. Like I didn't really get. Like I'd played Counter Strike before Switching. like a little bit, but like I didn't get super into PC gaming until like H1Z1, and I became obsessed with it because I was so trash. 
And I think, like, you've just got to do that. Like, because you never know, like, what, what PC game might come after Fortnite that you'll want to play. And then, yeah. then you'll have that experience and you'll be able to just ramp it up. Yeah. But now I feel, like, good on a PC or on a mouse and keyboard. So it's like, like even at, earlier talking about CS, it's like, I think I could switch to that game. Dude, be it would be good. so fun to play, like, five mans. Dude, with, I would love to. With all of us, like, yeah. CS, like... Sheila, get your Dust smart, who's dude. back in <laughs> Dust Two's back in the rotation now, which is my number one favorite map. But like, all, honestly, Why pushing towards all time. The so they, they they have an active map pool at all times where I they swear, swap like, every few months. I swear, like when I played Dust Two, was in there. <clears throat> Why haven't we it, played it out- CS for optic players? What happened? Why haven't we played CS yet? Uh, I mean, kind of. It's also a five man game too. Yeah, it's a five person uh, game. It's I, online. That's one of those things where when we get a spoiler alert, when we get our official new setups and everything going and our new breakdowns of, uh, of rooms. I'm gonna say that Stay now, tuned. coming soon, to hold Stay people tuned. accountable. Um, but uh, <laughs> but I definitely want to. I would pay real money to watch you try to hold a, a long, a long <laughs> with with with, with having no idea what to do on Dust Two. Yes. I don't know what to say to that. Because I would just sit I on I would yes. sit on site, wait for you to get one tap by the AK pushing through long doors, nah, and then I'd sit up and pit. You I'd hop and word to Sheila. Word to word to Sheila. Off tattoo. Yeah, I saw that. She's right. got Wait, it. Wait, is that, is that, that that? Yeah. I so I have the first ever oh, in uh yeah, the first ever in existence optic gaming tattoo. I got that in 2010 because I said if I ever make $10,000 off of this, it's going to motivate me to do this for a living. Uh, and I did. Right? I I got the tattoo. Would you, what is would you get a gaming if you were to get a gaming tattoo? Ooh. Because I thought about I, I thought about getting uh, a, a car 90 a car 98k. Um, and the reason I haven't gotten it is because I don't know if I should get it scoped or unscoped. <laughs> because unscoped. Uns- unscoped is like, you know, is, is, is my, my, my thing, right? Yeah. Underneath you have to put steady aim wall. Yeah. <laughs> steady aim, nice training wheels. <laughs> if you ever use steady aim, know that you are not a good sniper, period. Wow. Just know that. Anyway, would, would, would you get a, a gaming tattoo? And what would it be? <sighs> See, I don't have any tattoos, but... Uh, yeah, it, my first one would definitely not be a game. That's my thing. Yeah. I don't I'm, think... I'm going to get my first tattoo tattoos? soon. Uh-huh. But... No, no tattoos? No. I'm See, getting I my first one soon. I don't, I don't. I, 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 I want, can honestly I see want Nick some, with like a, a big yeah. eyeball. I want a neck tattoo. Yeah, you would I want a good. neck tattoo. Bro, you look I kind of really want good, like an eye or no, like a... No, don't go no. straight to the face, man. No, don't do don't ever do the face. My first two tats, a neck and then a <laughs> right here. Like, yeah. no. he I want the tattoo, tattoo right, you, up, right in my the, hairline. The posty, Would you do that? The posty on my neck, yes. Think, my face yeah. probably not. I think nowadays it's a little bit more Bar acceptable bar-bar. to do that because of tattoo removal. And it's only going to get better to have... So right now tattoo removal is what it is, right? But in the future there's going to be a... And I'm just inventing something, so if it hasn't been invented, give me credit like the way that I invented Twitch. Okay. You invented Twitch. I did. Hector invented Twitch. You heard here first. Yeah. I'm Justin not, I'm not did. Crazy. Justin. Justin. TV. Justin executed. Invented it. You told the idea. Justin. No, and no, no. <laughs> it was just an idea that I had when I wanted to represent. Uh, I wanted to be uh, Grizz's agent. I remember that. Yeah. Anyway, so at, at some point or another, there's going to be a, a tattoo ink that will be easily removable. Right, because of regrets, right? You get your wife's name, and then you know, that doesn't work out. But mm. anyway, so let, let, answer. You're not getting. Uh, off. If I were to get one, it would probably be some, maybe like a Halo Two BR or or like a culture, Halo BR. Just because culture of, vulture. Okay, culture vulture, of course. Yeah, just because that's, that's the image. No, you know, I only <laughs> said that because Seth calls me that nonstop, and I don't know what what he, what he means. Little. Yeah, he saw. He, you tweeted about like Avengers. And he just like, likes the new Migos mixtape. That's what it's called. Oh. Uh, Something. He would. He would. That is what. He's <laughs> culture vulture and part culture vulture. But no, there are there are culture vultures. For sure. Right, anyway, so what what are we a uh, BR? Is that is That's that your favorite game of all time, Halo? Uh, Halo Three is definitely up there. I think. Um, I mean, I've had uh, I've had like five or six that are right there, but I don't know. Do it's try? very tough. I'm someone who believes a lot in. There, there is such a strong looking back on rose-colored glasses for people. Like looking back and Black Ops 2 League play was the best thing ever. Okay, people just forget that people got hit offline. That you'd lose one game and lose 150 points, yes. but then have to win 15 because you don't get plus 10. Yes. Like people forget these things because they're just like Black Ops 2 is the best. Like no, I'm someone who believes. Like, That's like Hitch when he says, "I miss the scuff house." Exactly. And I'm, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not even kidding. Like, I talked about Hitch that. told me today. He said, "I miss scuff house, Niak." I was like, "You're just remembering the like exactly. six good exactly. times." Exactly. That is uh, when I went to the scuff house last time. I was like, "You could not pay me to live in live in this environment." Ugh. Like that's just the God's honest truth. 
end. It was nice at the beginning. Oh, I, yeah, I, 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 I totally, I totally don't doubt that. Getting a team. Good. I totally do not doubt that. Sixty uh, fifty. I even with the mice problem. The mice were one, one of one of one of the my best my best. Like eras in 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 my career. Sure. Yeah. Like the whole, the whole even when I late joined sixty fifty, it was even from I, I was there for like a year, but it was like everything was all good all the time. It seemed like in sixty fifty. I just don't. I'm just I'm someone who believes that rose colored glasses can draw skew things. Sure. So that's why it's tough for me to say that this was the best game because like. Yeah, did I love MW2? Yes, but MW2 was all I did, and all my best friends we landed every other week. Did I love Halo Three for sure? But at the same time, I had no responsibilities. Like, yeah. do I love Fortnite right now? Yeah, but am I being honest? Am I making some good living off of playing Fortnite? Yeah. yeah. Is that skewing things? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I already know that in the future, you know? Yeah. yeah. So it's tough. You're really like objective thinker, Jack. I'm just, I, I'm someone who, I, I try to be a realist. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy how much I enjoy, I don't even remember what the topic was, but I enjoy Fortnite so much more when my stream's like popping. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like well, it, why, it definitely skews the way I enjoy well, the that's game. Why I, I, I stream with no viewer. I, I, I've stopped streaming my viewer count open. Really? I don't uh, even. Yeah, I don't have mine open either. Yeah, because uh, I mean, it's I've talked about it on the podcast before, but like when Ninja is live, I see literally like thirty to forty percent less viewers, and then when he goes offline, I'd be like, I could tell you when Ninja went offline based off of my viewer count. Yeah. Okay. And and it would also mess with me that I would win a game, get so excited, and then naturally for any Fortnite stream, yeah, there's the huge drop off because people go to the next one. Yeah, know? of course. Yeah. Um, and that was just messing with me. And I knew, I also knew that last month was so huge because of the optic announcement, the 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 full time streaming, some of the stuff with playing with different people that like I knew co- and how often I was streaming. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to keep that up either. That I knew coming into this month, I was going to see some decreases mm-hmm. naturally before yeah. I was able to go back up again. Because oh, like yeah. last month, just from 500 subs to 7,000, like people were going to fall off. Yeah, for like some nobody reason. can mm-hmm. just keep going. Like that that. was just that it was it's unsustainable. So um, I knew that was coming, but it still messes with me because I'm like, damn, you know. Yeah, it sucks. kind of like yeah. makes you overcompensate. You're like, oh man. I mean, that's the, yeah. he, Ninja talks about it for his stream too. He's like. Yeah. He would he literally stream for like fifteen hours straight just to try to keep himself above two hundred K subs because he didn't want to drop below. Like the enough. feeling, I don't know, it's it's so hard to complain about like streaming because it's really so awesome. But it does like mentally like take a toll on you. Like you don't stop thinking about it after. I mean my my number one goal is to build chat, my YouTube. People yeah. saying you're trash. My number like, my number one goal is to build my YouTube enough <laughs> to where I don't have to worry about Streaming being my main income, but that's just yeah. not even close right now. You should have you know, like a good ecosystem. W- w- one one advice that I always give everybody that comes into Optic is that if you're only, and I'm guilty of this, if you're only doing YouTube, you're doing half of the work. You're only doing half of you know your true job as a as a content creator. And I know that a lot of people are going to disagree with this, Hutch specifically. Um, but it, you know it, the, the the best the best you you can be when as as a streamer or as somebody who's taking this. As a uh, as a profession is to do both and to put your heart into both but equally. I, but I think it's even less now. It's it's not like do both. It's now like forty percent Twitch, forty percent YouTube. But like you need to be active. You need to yeah. manage Twitter well, manage Instagram yeah. well. Like yeah. most of my sales for my shirts come off my Twitter promotion, not my Twitch promotion. Most yeah. of my new eyes that have been brought on to me have come from my promotions that I've done with my videos on Instagram. Like Ninja knows that. Ninja Ninja is four million. Instagram followers now after four months because he's done such a good job of promoting it, over, how Drake pushing it over there. Him. Yeah, he's right. nasty though, man. He's nasty. Yeah. Um, Nick, you you were super. I'm not gonna get. I was gonna ask you. You were super anti Fortnite at the beginning. I, I know you enjoyed. I was anti Fortnite. I know. For sure. but you, you enjoy it now though. Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna take off. I'm not gonna lie. I was like. Psh. Yeah, Stupid. I don't think I thought it would either. I knew it. I, I 1,000% called it from the beginning. I wish that I would have grinded it, man, so I could be decent now. I'm if, just super mediocre now. If you had a clone of you, right, because I mean, we're talking about YouTube, Twitch, and this is what came into my mind. If you had a clone, which one would you pick to do as your as your main job? Would you pick YouTube as your main job, or would you pick Twitch as your main job, and then let your clone... With my uh, this same... Arti- artificial intelligence robot. We'll start there. Like, let me ask you this. I courage. When I say... YouTube is my main job, or am I equal in income? Uh, yeah, sure. Then YouTube, one one thousand percent, because you can go away on a trip on YouTube and schedule videos for three weeks and still do your job to its fullest potential. Yeah. But if you leave Twitch, there is no one subbing. There's people are just your numbers are just decreasing. Yeah, it's like yeah. such an it is it is trip. that yeah. if I had one if I had one wish in life right now that could just make my life infinitely better. It would be me able to snap my finger and have a million more subs on YouTube who are just as active as the 
the hundred and ten thousand I have now. Yeah. To, to, so then I can just go, okay. Hundred and ten. You were just at ninety last week. Uh, yeah, I'm at like one oh one oh just shy one oh nine now. Um, so. But uh, why though? What, what's the um? What's what's the what, what's your train of thought be, behind that? You you you. I've now played more and more with YouTubers, and I know that, like it, again, like the reason why a lot of Twitch streamer like the Twitch streamers hate going to events and stuff is because like. You are just not there streaming. Yeah. That's why they IRL stream. How crazy is that? Yeah. The reason they go to events and then IRL stream there is yes, because it's cool content that's unique. But at the same time, in the back of their heads, they're going, "Okay, but I'm still streaming and I'm still gaining subs." Yeah. Like YouTubers can go to events. They can go do these like of course. The, the, the game captures when they fly out for Far Cry or fly out for COD and record and stuff mm -hmm. and feel no remorse because they've planned four days of the videos in advance. Yeah. yeah that's, that's why. For sure. How many times have you seen a YouTuber tweet out, "Who?" Trip to Australia tomorrow, just plan out the next 10 days of videos. You guys are going to love the 48 videos I made. And is it a lot of work? Yes. Yeah. But can they go and sit back in Australia with their feet up and not have to worry about anything? Yeah. 100%. It's but if you're hard. a Twitch streamer, while you're there, you're going, you're opening your dashboard on your phone and going, <clears throat> damn, okay. The next day. The next day. <sighs> yeah, it's stressful. Because you're, like, you're, you're like watching the, your number fall. It's like mm. the always live mentality. Like you're always connected, whether it's like IRL streaming or just trying to be consistent. And then like if you can't, you have to stay up to date on Twitter and be like, don't forget about me, guys. Like it's kind of like really difficult like to the, manage. Logan Paul, like the first thing he did when he went on the Switch stream after his first one was like, damn, this is this is really hard because like you have to be on for yeah, you're on the whole six time. hours plus of being a personality slash yeah. engaging uh -huh. and entertaining. Yeah. And you can't just edit out the boring parts like a YouTube. Video. It's exhausting. It is. It is. Yeah. Well, I don't think anyone will understand. They're gonna be like, must be nice. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Must be nice to complain about having the dream job. Oh, I trust <laughs> I'm not, I'm not We're complaining. not complaining. It's just it's not as easy as people make it seem. Like it makes me really frustrated when, like, especially like with, with Ninja. If we're just gonna talk about him for a second. Like, people saying, "Wow, this guy makes so much, and all he does is game." Like, no, not all he does is game. With that logic, like anyone that games could be that successful. Like, mm -hmm. there's. It's it's just mind blowing to me that people just look at it in such a simple way and they don't fully understand like what it what it entails. I know right now what I'm most self conscious about with my stuff with my content stuff is like I'm not putting out the same quality product stream every day and that yeah. bothers me and stream, everyone has that right. Yeah, yeah you said but, what did you say the other day you didn't like how your stream was the other day or yeah. like wasn't just a, like was a just, good well, like I'll have some days away, where or? I will just have a good night's sleep or whatever or wake up to some good news or something yeah. well I will just I will like you I will tweet out and a lot of times I I I I, I I'll make stuff up for, for tweets because I know people will engage with it more and stuff like oh, that yeah. but like there are days where I'll wake up and be like I'm gonna be godly today on, on Fortnite I can just yeah. sense it and when I play I'm that much better and my stream is that much better because of it yeah. Like today when I, I woke I up, I knew I, I want to have like an eight hour stream. Like after this, I'll go home, probably actually like shower, eat and then go live. But I think a part of that now is because the last two days I've been eating better. Yeah. And already I've started to feel the confidence of like, hey, this has felt good to not be a fat ass after being home for eight days, eating whatever I want and yeah. drinking yeah. three of the nights, you know, like yeah. gets you back in a little groove. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, the same way. Like if I eat poorly, I'm, I'm sleep poorly. If I, you know, I'm just I'm not on. So like if you're. It's crazy, but if you live like a healthy lifestyle, it makes it easier to play uh, That's games. my problem. I feel amazing when I eat like a... Really? Normal. What? Not me. I feel great. I feel if terrible. I, I feel I'm anxious. Same. No, same. Bro, my mom would make this, this dish called chipotle, and it's not like you chipotle. chipotle. I love chipotle. Yeah, chipotle. Yeah, see, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm a, talking a about nice the restaurant. burrito bowl? Yeah, see, I'm not. I'm talking <laughs> about the... the, the it's, a, it's a chipotle pepper dish that she makes. I could eat like... 14 of those burritos, and I'm not talking about burritos, I'm talking about Mexican, the real Mexican burritos, which are not that big, right? Um, and be amazing, just happy that I ate like that, and I can do everything except... <laughs> you don't get tired? No. That's my biggest thing. Is I get tired, I get carved out. I, get, I, don't, get, that's I, don't, get, I don't get groggy. Or that's the mess with me. When I was, like, I will, like, look in the mirror, and I'll be like, shit. <laughs> and then, like, messes with me, right? Yeah. Um, I was talking to Davis, and I'm sure your apartment's the same exact way, but uh, right when you open the shower, there's the big old oh, mirror. Yeah. Just, like, the big old mirror just looking at you, and I'm just, especially a couple of weeks ago, because I've been eating pretty healthy the last couple of weeks, but I was getting fat, 
And I would just open that mirror and just, uh, what'd you eat today? All what'd... my problems, like the cold hit, it would hit you. The cold air. That, <laughs> yeah, that, and the cold air. Realization, just... That realization would hit you before even the cold air hits you. You're <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. damn, I'm fat. And yeah. I'm like, oh. It's like, <laughs> right when the mirror starts yeah. to unfog, you're like, oh, oh. God. Yeah. Fuck I would try God. to fog it. <laughs> 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 I'm not wiping any mirror, dude. Not me, man. I like, I like me, a lot of me. Um, <laughs> like, calls out, like, Yeah. Dickums. Thick boy. I don't Pex think thick. I've I, I don't think I've ever looked in the mirror and been like. Ugh. I mean, I think it's. I'm like, like I'm like. Well, like I'm going to the gym now and like doing the eating right stuff, so I'm like, okay, I'm st- I'm st- kind of starting to see like little changes, and I'm like, all right, girl, like. But before I was like, God, this is like an all time low. Fix this, dude. <laughs> oh, I was. Uh, this is completely random, but. Sixth grade, I was. I mean, I, I am an athletic person. Mm-hmm. It, ironically enough, like I can hold. Like in your brain, or like really? No, no, in, like in actually reality. in sport, I was a good athlete back before I put on the weight that I did, yeah. especially because my stamina, like in, in running and stuff, went down. Yeah. But in the sixth grade, I was the fastest kid in school. Dude, like, so I, what? I, I, I don't even was, believe that. No, fastest. Oh. I was the fastest. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> the worst. And uh, and then seventh grade, and then seventh grade, I got an Xbox, and I was not the fastest anymore. Yeah, like I, I literally put on probably thirty pounds in the first year of having a, a video, a, my own like video game console, could, Halo Three, not stop playing in the MLB yeah. playlist. Trying what to could you it. run a mile in time? Oh, I mean, I was in the sixth grade. I, I didn't even, I wasn't into it that much. Like full fledged sprints, I was like the fastest. No, kid. yeah, was, five ten. Mm-hmm. I think what mine was in no seventh way. grade. Eighth grade, eighth grade. I don't even believe it. I've never been a one hundred percent. You seen pictures person. of me? I was like a stick and bone. Yeah, you were like five ten. That's fast. I know. I was fat, bro. Was, I had nothing. Mine was like five even now. Mile? Even that's even. Well, even mine now. was like five forty. Look, look, look at this. Thin mine was like five forty, but I was like top two in the school. I was thin limbs all the way, all the way up. You know that. My fat only comes from my cheeks, my my uh, my. What do you call those? My the, chins. And, chin, yeah, chin. The, 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 and, and my stomach. Oh, that is it. Oh, I'm a me fit, and you kind of have like the. This part of my body fuck. is. No. I'm Am I going to look truck? like you? You, you wish. Because those skinny the, ass legs. By the time you're at 38, you're going to be bald. You're not going to have this. No way. Nick won't go bald. Nah, yeah. How old is, no, no, how old are, I can see it right now. He's not trained. How, Nick, how this is his big forehead. How old are you? 26. If he hasn't started to go bald, he's not going bald. Yeah, he's good. 29. He's not going bald. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying our bodies, like these chicken legs, I all my, Bro, all my I'll fat. Never, here's see. my thing. All of it. Mike posted a photo on his Instagram yesterday or two I days ago. Yeah. Of like, his, like how jacked he is. And we don't know how much Mike works out. If you've ever worked out with Mike, you know every day is leg day. Mm-hmm. Every comment, look at those chicken legs, chicken legs. Ever heard of leg day? And I'm like, what? I've never, I, you know what? What do they expect what, his like, legs to look like, like? At this point. I'm never just. I'm just never gonna do it because I'm never gonna have big light. Like it'll never be a thing. No, my... Maven put it best, and I, and and I oh. told my trainer that just I, recently. Yeah. Tell them, no, and, then so... we'll, and then we'll end it there before we get off on a tangent. When Maven and I went on our weight loss binge and stuff, uh, I we would work out at the same time, and and we, fit, we This was literally like our first weeks. So we did our back and by. We did our chest and try. You know, shoulders, abs, stuff like that. And we're like, okay, like I you don't like, do abs every day, like I do. Uh, not for the most part, but. Yeah, you I probably do need to. But uh, but I went to Maven. I was like, okay, like legs tomorrow. And he was like, what? It's like legs tomorrow. He's like, Jack, I'm not effing doing legs. I don't plan on kicking anybody anytime soon. <laughs> he said that once. We never did legs. Yeah. The next year, <laughs> yeah. never. I just look like this. Wow, he's Makes right. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, well, no. to, to, in his defense, he's got a really good set of calves. That's yeah. the thing. That, I'm telling you, people are born like you can build get get bigger calves. Hundred percent. I, I cannot calves. There are people that are born with big yeah, calves. I, I cut myself shaving. I'm kidding. I was I gonna say, dang, dude. Like the, people just have big. Like a lot of people just are born with big calves and yeah. little calves and little calves. It's just that we're tall and lanky. Little calves. Dude. If we were short, it's just like and body build and like genetics. stubby. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> anyway, that's where we're gonna end this episode. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, all of our information is gonna be in the description up below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, and I think that's the only thing to put it on there. And uh, thank you. We'll see you on the next one, on episode number fifty-two, where we'll discuss a whole bunch of. Awesome. Twitch.amazon.com slash prime. Follow us.